to the Cascades of Time Garden. Today, we found ourselves exploring a picturesque garden in downtown Banff. We were welcomed by a well-landscaped garden with a varied mix of annuals and perennials. Join us as the kids enjoyed a wonderful afternoon stroll in the Cascades of Time Garden. In our opinion, Banff is one of the prettiest towns out there. No wonder it is the most visited national park in all of Canada. Banff attracts millions of visitors annually, and there may be times when you want to escape the crowds of Banff Avenue or take some time to rest after a day of wandering. This tiny patch of floral tranquility is a hidden gem. The Cascades of Time Garden is located just at the back of the administration building. The site is within easy walking distance from Banff Avenue. It is situated on 12 acres of land and at the time of construction, about one-third of the property was planted as gardens while the rest was left as meadows and forests. We set out to explore this beautifully tended garden which is adorned by colorful flowers of every size, color, texture, and fragrances that create interest and delight the senses. Indeed, they have maximized the beauty of the place in every square inch. We visited the garden to give our girls the time and space to wander after a busy day around the town of Banff. This place is perfect as it is not as busy as other places and the girls enjoy their time together as they walk along the pathways, cross short bridges, see the beds of flowers and all the greeneries around them. Amaya also took this chance to practice walking up the stairs and stumbled down quite a few times. Got some nice close up look with the flowers while Scarlett ran around the pathways going to and fro on bridges and assisted her little sister in walking. Approximately 50,000 animals are planted here and 8 Parks Canada staffs take care of the grounds and the garden during the summer season. Cascades of Time Garden is free and open from May until late September. This is such a perfect recreation place for a family. It is intended as a resting place, paths, and sometimes play area. People often picnic in here. There's also people playing ball or frisbee, and quite a few weddings and prenup photos are often taken amongst the gardens. The gardens are terraced into the hillside with flagstone pathways and rock steps that lead visitors through explosion of color and texture, some mature trees, and flower beds. The original program for the landscape, although never fully realized, was intended to depict the evolution of time through the geological eras. The gardens feature artfully designed ponds, streams, cascades, arches, and bridges. One of the bridges that attracts attention is this bridge made from falling trees with its distinctive burls feature. Occasionally, in response to an internal stressor like growth hormone or wound, trees will form burls. Weird but true, tree burls are a valuable wood product sought after by woodworkers and artists alike. There are several gazebos and sitting shelters that make a great refuge from the sun on a hot summer day, or to snap some souvenir photos to remind you of the beauty of this place. Aside from the beauty of the garden, this property is also known for its historical value. The moment you stand on the grounds of the gardens, you are witnessing a piece of Canada's history. The Cambrian Pavilion and the Administration Building were completed in 1936, led by architect Harold C. Beckett. 
They were constructed on the site of the former Spa Hospital Brett Sanatorium, which was destroyed by fire in 1933. In the depths of the Great Depression, the federal government funded the building and garden project and have utilized relief workers as part of the federal relief program. It was interesting to know that the building and the garden is a legacy to its designer, the laborers who built it, and the social times. The Cambrian Pavilion is a rectangular structure consisting of an open-walled garden pavilion built of local rocks in the rustic style. Squat with a hipped roof and wide overhanging arches, the symmetrical facade is five bays wide and has a central entrance arch. Federal architects applied English arts and crafts stylistic elements, that is Tudor style, to score the designs of this building. The prominent position of the Cambrian Pavilion in the northeast corner of the garden, adjacent to the Cambrian Pool, makes it highly visible from the administration building. The pavilion both serves as an entrance and a viewing platform of the garden. In July 1997, the Cambrian Pavilion was officially established as a historic site, commemorating its historical and architectural significance as one of the most noteworthy expression of the rustic aesthetic in Canada's national parks. The Banff Administration Building is distinguished by a commanding site terminating the southern end of Banff Avenue and by splendidly landscaped grounds. The administration building was intentionally designed to function both as a landmark and as a visual cornerstone for the architectural themes which was developed in Banff downtown. The character-defining elements of the administration building includes the use of rubble limestone in broken courses for the exterior walls, the projecting square tower with oriel window, crenellation and sandstone trim which encloses the main entrance. In September 1986, this building was recognized as a federal heritage building. Today, the Banff Administration Building is used by Parks Canada as a fully operational office for their departments such as Human Resources, Finance, and among others. What is Parks Canada, you may ask? It is the steward of national parks, national conservation areas, and historic sites. Canada was the first country in the world to establish a National Park Service. They've been around since 1911, and James Bernard Harkin being the first commissioner. Plaques of the Dominion Parks of Canada and Mr. Harkin will be found in the garden grounds. Parks Canada are gardens, guides, partners, and is a living legacy that gives us understanding of the essence of Canada. Overall, we highly recommend a visit to the gardens, its grounds, and the building. It is a must-see when you are in Bow Town. And besides, you will also have the chance to take the best photo you could ever get when you're in town. Stand in the flower garden, have the Bow River Bridge, Banff Avenue, and the 55 plus million year old Cascades Mount in a single shot. Absolutely stunning. If you ask us, we really recommend getting off the beaten path and experience the wonder of the garden. A place to escape the hustle and bustle of Banff Avenue and reconnect with nature. If you want to reflect on the wonder of the flowers, trees, and mountains, you will surely enjoy the terraced gardens and pavilion with tranquil vistas at the Cascades of Time Garden. The girl surely had some wonderful afternoon strolling around the garden. While most people experienced the busy town of Banff, our family truly made some special moments here. We're sure you also love the peace, quiet, and plenty of spaces to reflect here in the Cascades of Time Gardens.